Welcome to my guide on how to create your own TeamSpeak 2 server. First, you want to start off by going to goteamspeak.com and then you want to go to downloads at the top. Okay. You want to download the TeamSpeak 2 client and you want to download TeamSpeak 2 server. I already have those downloaded. So, okay. You want to install the server first. You go to next. And just, yeah. Should take a couple of seconds. Okay, and you want to launch TeamSpeak 2 server. What you have right here is your admin and your super admin passwords. You want to copy your super admin password. Okay, and you can just click close. Then you should have an icon down here at the bottom. Right click that and then it'll show you your IPs right here, which you probably need for later. And then you want to click administration. Okay, super admin. And then you want to use this password that you copied down when you installed the server. Okay. Then we go to super admin manager and click add client. And then you can use whatever you want. click add continue so go back to super admin manager and you want to delete the first one which is super admin okay click delete yes and then after I hit continue or after you hit continue it should kick you off so click continue and then just like click somewhere like super admin manager and it kick you off so you want to exit out and then you want to reopen it. Go right click on the bottom, back to administration. Open it back up and then log in with the account that you made. Okay. And then you want to go to servers. Click select. You want to go to user manager. Click add client. Login name, use whatever you want. This is what you're gonna use to log in with your log into your server with. Make sure they're the same. And then you want to check server admin, click add, click continue, and go back to user manager and you want to delete admin up here. This so delete. Yes, continue. Shouldn't kick you off this time. And you want to go to server settings. Uh, this is your server name up here. It's the welcome message that comes up whenever someone logs in on their screen. And uh, you can add a password to your server. Max amount of uh, users that are allowed to connect or yeah. And then this is your codec right here. I'm just you can do whatever you want. Yeah, that works. And then clan server, you you don't really have to have what I have right here. You can do whatever you want. And then a clan server is when someone is logged in, they can see everyone on the server. A public is you have to be in that person's channel to see them. Okay. And then your server UDP UDP port is uh the port that your server's on and you can change it if you want but that's 8767's default okay and then you want to go to log out okay you want to install your TeamSpeak 2 client should take a couple seconds I was installing the codex right there, and then you want to launch your TeamSpeak 2 server, or er, client, yeah, sorry, 
and then server address 127.0.0.1 your nickname your login name that the one that you created when you went when you went to user manager I should let you log in and you can uh, create a channel things like that now now if you want other people to like get on your server what you'll have to do is you'll have to give them your IP which is this right here this but if you don't want to do that you can create a no IP and I'll show you how to do that right now you want to open up your browser and you want to go to www.no-ip.com okay I'm already logged in but you probably have to register an account okay and then you want to click add host host name uh, whatever you want I'll just do uh, test one two three yeah and then choose uh, thing serve game you can do whatever you want make sure that IP matches this right here and this IP right here okay and then you want to go to create host it should take around five minutes for it to work right so I'm just gonna use one of my other things I'll use this one okay so, and then you'll I you would really copy the one that you made but it's probably not up yet you'll have to wait five minutes so you're gonna open up your thing disconnect quick connect your server address your no IP and click connect should work or you could do add server right click add server and then name it whatever you want uh, server address there no IP your nickname okay uh, your login name and then just click connect that way if you go to connect you can save different servers on here and that's it thanks for watching